boys and girls, we have a lot to do today, so we need to get quiet. We have our terrific kid. We have a lot of students we need to reward for AR, and we're also going to be announcing our next year's safety patrol. So we have a lot to cover in a short amount of time. I first just want to say thank you to everyone for being such excellent students this morning when we had our modified lockdown. Thank you so much for doing exactly what we expect for you to do. Mustangs rock today. Good job, guys. All right, we're glad to have Marianne and Kyle, Hank Kyle here today from the Kiwanis of the Keystone area, and I'm going to let Miss Marianne say a few words, and then we're going to get started. We want to welcome everyone here today, and so grateful for all the parents and grandparents that could come back again today since we didn't get to do this yesterday. Beautiful day today. We enjoy coming out to all the schools in this area and doing terrific kids. We have the, the pleasure of seeing over 900 children a year be awarded certificates and um, nice packets that you'll take home. We have uh, sponsors in our area, local businesses, that put little coupons and things in your bag. So if you'll check that, and when you go to those places to redeem your coupon, please say thank you to them, because they go out of their way to help us. But Kiwanis is very happy to do this. It's a program that's been around since the 1980s. And it focuses on children who come to school every day, work to the very best of their ability, give it everything they've got, and succeed without failing and struggling and working so hard. But we've got a great number of students today. So without any further ado, I'm going to turn it over. Our, our first terrific kid is Elena Steinhilber. Elena is a terrific kid every day. She always has a smile and a hug when she comes to class. She loves her friends and teachers and is always happy to see them. Giving side hugs is her specialty. Kindergarten has been a big step for her. She has grown by leaps and bounds in size and knowledge. She likes to learn by singing and dancing. I am excited to see the progress she has made this year. These are only a few of the reasons that make Elena Steinhilber a terrific kid. Love, Miss Sheffield. Our next terrific kid is Avery Hemphill. If teachers sat around discussing characteristics of an idyllic student, they would describe, describe Avery Hemphill. She is inquisitive, focused, persistent, and polite. Avery is reading and writing and knows over 100 sight words, and she is just in kindergarten. I can always count on Avery to set a good example for her classmates. Recently, I watched as she became a peacemaker during a dispute. Her leadership skills were awesome. She wasn't responsible for the problem, but she quickly stepped up to help resolve it. She is helpful and kind and already understands the power of an apology. If you should visit our room, you would find Avery in the middle of a cluster of kids. Her classmates love her and want to work with her because she is nice to everyone. Avery has reached a star, our highest behavior grade, every day of this school year. There are only two other students in our class with this distinction, so it's not an easy accomplishment. Way to go, Avery. You make my job easy because you come to school ready to learn each day. I enjoy being your teacher and look forward to seeing all the wonderful things you will do. Love, Miss Cruz. Our next terrific kid is Jaden Galloway. Jaden, you are such a wonderful addition to our class. We are so lucky to have gotten to know you this year. 
Jaden gives his best effort from the moment he arrives to school until the moment he gets on the bus. When we sing our learning songs, Jaden is the loudest one and most engaged. Not to mention the best part, Jaden is nice to everyone. He has made so many friends this year. Thank you for being awesome, Jaden. Love, Miss A. Bear and your kindergarten class. Our next terrific kid is Julie Tilson. This month's terrific kid in Mr. Johnston's class is Julie Tilson. When I think of Julie, one word comes to mind, and that is unstoppable. I cannot recall the last time I encountered such determination from another person, let alone a kindergartner. Literally, any assignment I give her, whether it is math, reading, writing, or cleaning up her cubby, she is bound and determined to do the best possible job. But wait, there's definitely more. With Julie, you also get a very kind, caring, and respectful person. Julie, you truly are a terrific kid. Love, Mr. Johnston. Our next terrific kid is Joshua Johns. It is with great pleasure I recognize Joshua Johns as March's terrific kid. Josh is an all-around great kid who displays many terrific qualities on a daily basis. Josh is a de very determined and hardworking student. He always tries his best and has shown a tremendous amount of growth. He also has impeccable manners and gives great hugs. He is a friend to all he meets. I am so proud to have Josh in my classroom. I know we can look forward to wonderful things from this young man in the future. Thank you, Josh, for being truly terrific. Keep up the great work. Love, Mr. Guzman. Our next terrific kid is Pandora Mosley. <laughs> Pandora enters the class each day eager to learn. She is helpful to every one of her classmates. She enjoys helping students in class log on to, in class log on to AR when needed. Pandora is also a very hard worker. Her classwork is always done with great care. Pandora is a very responsible student. I can always count on her to be a messenger to the office or another classroom. Her classmates say she is funny, caring, and is a great friend. She's an incredibly valued part of our class. Keep up the excellent work, Pandora. We are so proud of you. Love, Mrs. Coates and class. Our next terrific kid is Coy Campbell. <laughs> Coy Campbell was chosen by his peers as this month's terrific kid. Coy is incredibly helpful to his classmates. It is not uncommon to find him leaning over someone's area to explain the steps on a math problem or help them with a word. He always gets his work completed and puts forth his best effort every time. He takes pride in his work. Coy's classmates wrote that he is kind, respectful, honest, and quick to help someone in need. He goes out of his way to show good manners. We are so lucky and proud to have this young man in our class. Keep up the good work, Coy. Love the Harvin Hippies. Our next terrific kid is Tinley Gesford. Go, 
If you're looking for an example of a perfect first grade student, look no further. Tinley is your girl. She's not only smart, respectful, and a great friend, she has the sweetest smile that just lights up the room. Her energy is contagious, and I have really enjoyed our little talks at recess. The sky is the limit for you, Tinley. Thanks for being such a terrific kid. Love, Miss Simone. Our next terrific kid is Luke Thompson. We are so excited to introduce Luke Thompson as Terrific Kid for the month of March. Luke was chosen Terrific Kid because of his outstanding character and excellent citizenship qualities. Luke brings a positive energy into our classroom each day. He has a quick smile for his classmates as well as a helping hand. He is always willing to share his time and materials when it is needed. This positive at attitude has earned him the respect of his classmates and the admiration of his teacher. Luke is a dedicated student and is always striving to do better. He pushes himself to get the job done. He turns in his classwork and homework each day with enthusiasm and makes his AR goal each month. Luke is an awesome teacher's helper. There is never a job too big for him. He comes to the classroom early each day to help get the classroom ready for his classmates. In addition, he brings in his dulcimer to play soothing music when things become too lively. We are so fortunate to have Luke in our classroom. We love you, Luke. Your star is shining bright today. You are one terrific kid. And that's from Miss Ann Johnson and the marvelous second graders. All right, hold it down. Our next terrific kid is Ella Garrison. I am excited to recognize Ella Garrison for this month's terrific kid. Ella is an all-around great student. She spreads kindness throughout our room by simply being herself. Ella is the student that sincerely enjoys helping her classmates achieve success. One of her classmates said, Ella is always on task. Another student said, she encourages me to do my best. Ella is a true example of what being terrific looks like. Keep up the great work, Ella. Love, Mrs. Maynard and your classmates. <laughs> Next is Max McKinney. Max comes to school ready to take no prisoners. He gets right to work and always has his work done and ready to go over. Max works hard to get his AR goal done and always helps his team get theirs. He is helpful and works hard to become the best student he can be. Max loves sharks and takes a bite out of his responsibilities as a second grader and swallows them up and gets stronger with each bite. He is a perfect example of a second grader who is ready to attack and lead in third and beyond. Congratulations, Max. You are truly a terrific kid. Love, Mrs. Mrs. Saprell and the Pirates. All right, hold it down. Our next terrific kid is Mia Rivera. Dear Mia, I am not sure there are enough words to do justice to the fabulous way you are each day. You have impeccable behavior and manners. I never have to think twice about what you are doing. It is always the right thing. I never have to worry even when you are out of my sight for a few minutes. If you ask to read in the office with someone, I can check on you and that's exactly what you'll be doing. You are extremely trustworthy and dependable. I have never seen you do or say even one thing that was even a little bit questionable. 
I cannot express the gratitude I feel towards your positive can-do attitude and the way you work hard to finish everything that is assigned. In addition, every time I go to address Every time I go to address the class, you are always looking and listening. You are a pleasure to teach. Others could learn a lot from watching you and following your actions. You are a bright spot in our classroom, and you make my days better. Thank you for being so awesome. And that's from Mrs. Andrews and the Alligators. Hold that down. Our next terrific kid is Charlie Rumpel. Charlie is a terrific kid for numerous reasons. He shows that he is a responsible student by coming to school ready to learn. He is faithful about returning his homework. He demonstrates good citizenship daily. Charlie sets a good example for others by following the classroom and school rules. He is respectful and kind to adults and fellow students. I can count on him to encourage others to stay on track in line and in class. He reads and works towards his AR goal without reminders. One thing that is obvious, Charlie enjoys learning and puts his all into whatever he does. Keep up the great work. Great job, Charlie. I am proud of you and know that you have a bright future ahead of you. We love you. Miss Grider and your third grade must Ten classmates. <laughs> Lorenzo Wanton. <laughs> Lorenzo is a terrific kid for many reasons. First, he is kind to others. He always offers to be a friend to all. Second, he is respectful. He always says yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am to his teacher. And last, trustworthy. I know I can count on Lorenzo to do any classroom job. Keep being terrific. And that's from Mrs. Connie Johnson. Next, Tanner Malloy. In class, this young lady does just what her teachers ask of her, and she makes a choice to use recommended strategies that will get her the success she is enjoying. Is it more work? Yes. Does she do it anyway? Yes. She has grown as a student and has grown as a person. She has a bubbly personality and an excitement for learning that shows in her positive attitude. That positive outlook helps her overcome obstacles that others might find impossible. We love you, Tanner, from Ms. Fuller, Mrs. Johnston, Ms. Kaufman, and Mr. and Ms. Darby. Our next terrific kid is Cadence Massey Hoadley. <laughs> Cadence is a planner. She sets goals for herself in every area of her life. She knows what she knows, but she wants to know more. She is never satisfied with just good enough. She pushes herself beyond what is expected. Cadence wants to be better than good. She's a self-starter who will reach her goals because her excitement for learning will never leave her. It's in her plan. Not only that, but she is a sweet, helpful friend who loves to assist and encourage others. Have a question? Cadence is there. We love you, Cadence. From Miss Fuller, Mrs. Johnston, Miss Kaufman, and Mr. and Miss Darby. Our next terrific kid is Mackenzie Coleman. <laughs> oh. 
On the outside, this young lady is quiet, respectful, hardworking, and attentive. But it's what's going on inside that makes Mackenzie stand out among her peers. She is quiet because she is thinking. Sometimes it's visible on her face. She gets a little thinking scowl, and we know she is working out a problem or making meaning from her reading or writing. She is also a planner. This young lady has AR chapter books ready to test on the very first day of each month. Everybody has a brain, but Mackenzie uses hers. And it's all packed up in a sweet character and a lovely disposition. We love you, Mackenzie, from Miss Fuller, Mrs. Johnson, Miss Kaufman, and Mr. and Miss Darby. Our next terrific kid is Lainey Crawford. At the end of fourth grade, there are sometimes a few students who really mature to start looking like fifth graders. Lainey is one of those kids. Her reading, she has taken off even to the point where she is excited about choosing new books, discussing them, and planning for her next great read. In math, she is not afraid to make mistakes. She dives in and learns from them. Wow, science and social studies, she keeps learning even after class. What a kid. We love you, Lainey. Miss Fuller, Mrs. Johnson, Miss Kaufman, and Mr. and Miss Darby. Our next terrific kid is Wesley Boulay. <laughs> Wesley is Miss Gonzalez's terrific kid this month because of his awesomeness. Wesley has a great attitude towards learning and achieving. He puts in hard work every day. He doesn't give up and does what is necessary to succeed. By doing this, he sets a great example for those around him. Wesley is a very sweet young man. He treats other people well and respects everyone the same. He is helpful and genuinely cares for others. Wes, keep being your awesome self. The world needs more kind-hearted people just like you. We love you. Love, Miss Gonzalez. All right, wait. Our next terrific kid is Cynthia James. <laughs> Cynthia is a self-motivated go-getter. She goes above and beyond what is expected of her in class in order to learn new strategies and concepts. For example, we were recently studying metric conversions, and she independently researched a mnemonic device to help her remember the process. She is a great team member and engages in conversations in a very mature manner. I have also witnessed her being a wonderful friend and classmate throughout the year. Cynthia is very creative and artistic. She loves to draw and design. I'm expecting to continue seeing great things from her in the future. And that's from Miss McKinney's homeroom. Our next terrific kid is Sydney Kolal. Sydney Kolal is our terrific kid this month. This kid is amazing. Her drive and enthusiasm for learning is inspiring. She sets high standards for herself and is determined to live up to them. In addition to her academic awesomeness, Sydney is a well-respected fifth grader. She is kind to others and works well with her team. Sydney, you are going to do great things. Keep being your amazingly awesome self. You rock from Miss Parker and class.
And our last terrific kid for today is Andrew Seamer. Where do I begin? Athletic, hardworking, caring, friendly, studious. These are just a few of the words that come to mind. There are so many ways I can describe this amazing young man. Of course, I'm referring to Andrew Seamer. Andrew was selected as our terrific kid for the month of March for several reasons. Andrew always wants to participate in any and all classroom activities. You may remember Andrew represented Melrose in the Ned Show program. His responses were spot on and his manners showed throughout. In addition, Andrew is a tender-hearted young man. He will try and make others feel better if any conflict is arising. He aims to make everyone feel a part of the group and will be the first step away and befriend anyone he sees by themselves. His work ethic is second to none. His conscientiousness, conscientious attitude will take him far in his lifetime. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for Andrew. I know it will be bright. I am so very proud of Andrew and grateful that he is part of our sixth grade program. Keep up the fantastic work, Andrew. You are truly terrific. Love, Mrs. Morgan. All right, that concludes our terrific kids ceremony. But as I said earlier, Changes catch your eye And you come to realize One can make a difference Reach out, stand out Find out what it's all about See it all, stand tall Be there to catch them when they fall Life is bigger than just one Nothing changes quite as much as change And the things we rearrange Trying to make a difference Reach down, deep down Look at the sky of another town Listen well, the wind will tell you Something good is in the air oh. Life is bigger than just one oh, oh. But one can make a difference One can make a 
is bigger than just one but one can make a difference 